In this video, let us see the top 10 bizarre or uh, frivolous lawsuits. Lawsuits. Number 10. Man versus himself. In 1995, Robert Lee Broke, a prisoner in Virginia, wished to be removed from prison and placed in, in a mental institution. In order to achieve his goal, he decided to sue himself. He claimed that his crime was committed while he was drunk, which was a violation of his religious beliefs. He claimed that he had violated his own civil liberties. He sued himself for $5 million, but to make matters worse, he claimed that the state should pay as he was behind bars and without an income. Thankfully, the case was dismissed and broke didn't get his transfer number nine duke's family versus killer whale in 1999 and daniel dukes a 27 year old from florida has a clever plot so that he could have his lifelong dream of swimming with a whale fulfilled he did from the security guards at sea world and managed to stay in the park after closing shortly after he dived into the tank containing a killer whale fulfilling his dream number eight new yorker versus subway a 27 year old new yorker is chewing subway because he took a bite of a sandwich and found a seven inch knife baked into the bread the knife did not cut him but he did not swallow it the reason is he is chewing is because he was violently ill with severe stomach issues for three hours and he claims that he caught food poisoning from the ha handle of the knife which was plastic and according to the man filthy he is chewing for one million dollars so number seven holy roller and uh, magicians this is a true case of believe it or not crystal roller a resident of minnesota sued david brain and david copperfield demanding they reveal their secret magic tricks to him he demanded 10 percent of their total income for life the reason for the suit is that roller believes that the magicians are defying in laws of physics and thereby using godly powers number six murder a city or uh, tasers massey noriga a california police officer decided to tase a suspect in the back of her car when he became uncontrollable and started kicking at the windows. Noyega drew her uh, taser from her belt and fired it at the man. Unfortunately for the crook, the officer, officer had accidentally drawn her gun instead and she shot him in the chest, killing him. Number 5. Traffic Cop vs. Underwear this is a recent case in which a 52-year-old traffic officer from Los Angeles sued Victoria's Secret in for damage to her eye. The damage was caused, claims the cop, Magrida Pattinson, when she was trying on a new thong. The tight fit caused a metal clip to fly off hitting her in the eye the case was filed on june 9 2008 and officer patterson is seeking unspecified damages number four peta versus division of fish and wildlife peta the often insane animal loving organization held an anti-hunt protest in 2001 depending the rights of deer or dear to live on the way home from the protest two members hit a deer 
which had run onto the highway. The members informed the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife that they intended to sue for damages and injuries. Number three, Man versus Anheuser Bush. For a while in the 1990s, Anheuser Bush, the producer of Budweiser, ran a series of ads in which two beautiful women come to life in front of two truck drivers. A Michigan man bought a case of the beer, drank it and uh, failed to see two women materialize. Cue the loss shoot. He used the company for false advertising asking for a sum in excess of $10,000. Thankfully, the court dismissed the suit and uh, the man remained penniless and dateless. Number two, woman versus act of God. We all know that uh, whether reporters uh, reports are frequently wrong and we take that into account when planning our days. But this was not the case for an Israeli woman who used who sued a TV station for making an inaccurate prediction. The station predicted good weather, but it rained. Funny. The number one, common sense versus McDonald's. In 1992, a 79-year-old Albuquerque woman, Stella Liebeck, bought a coffee from a McDonald's drive through Her grandson was uh, driving and uh, he parked the car so he could add cream and sugar to the drink. She put the cup between her knees and pulled the lid toward her. Inevitably, the coffee spilled in her lap. She sued McDonald's for negligence because she claimed the coffee was too hot to be safe. So, these are the top 10